Good morning, good morning. We're in Seoul, South Korea. Very excited because it's, firstly the weather is beautiful. It's not super hot, it's blue skies. It rained when we arrived, yesterday it was absolutely pouring with rain, but today is gorgeous and you know you're in South Korea. Look at these rooftops of this building here. How beautiful is that? So we're just gonna have a walk around, explore, and we'll be seeing South Korea as you're seeing South Korea. So happy to be here, Michelle. Happy to be here. Beautiful day. Yes, I think. It's probably about, oh, maybe 28 degrees, 82 Fahrenheit. So perfect weather, maybe a little cooler. Wow. Well, look at that, Wee, here comes a taxi. <laughs> So we've got to go for a little walk today, try and find some cash. So let me just check the neighbor maps app and see which way we've got to go. Okay, there's gonna be the occasional pause while we try and work out exactly where we are. Lovely looking building. It's a cafe here. And the Seoul Do Hwanamun traditional theatre. And then some sort of temple over this side. That's very pretty. Let me just have a quick look in there, show you in there very quickly. Because this is my first real taste of Korea. How pretty is this? Little courtyard. So this is some sort of a cafe restaurant here and on here is some sort of tourist information or some theater i can't even recall the suburb that we're in can you remember the name of the suburb michelle Jongo. Jongo. <sighs> michelle did the research she says it's a good suburb we had a little walk around last night and it was amazing just the food around outside in these streets but for now Nice uh, crossings, and I think the vehicles do stop. Yeah, vehicles stop for you. Then you've got the, the press button. Talk to you. That beautiful temple over there. I'll probably keep the camera. Oi. Oh, we can cross. Ah, oh, and you're meant to be on this side. Oh, okay. <laughs> So they even have crossings. Mind you, not everybody's paying attention to that. If you can see behind, everyone's all over the place. But, uh, you know, it's all very orderly. Look at the scale of this gate here. We're not going in to these places. We just want to have a walk around. I love the size of these steps. Big granite stone steps. No good for little legs. But look at this place. It's so clean. I'm sorry, we've just, we've just come from Vietnam. As you know, we had a great time in Vietnam, but my Lord, it feels so much more European, so much cleaner here in South Korea. Immediately, the streets are absolutely pristine. The zebra crossings actually work. The pedestrian crossings, we call them zebra crossings because they, American friends, zebra crossings. I've got these little bikes that you can rent by the looks of them, probably have an app that goes with them. So, um, are they electric? No, they're just pedal bikes. Well, that one's electric. These ones, swing bikes. So I'm sure you can just scan your, um, your phone on these apps. But right now we haven't even uh, organized ourselves SIM cards. It's another thing for another video. Today is just all about exploring this beautiful city. Look at this stone here. Now, although that looks like a stone engraved, I've got a feeling, sadly, that's probably just concrete. It might not be there. I know there's some natural, it looks a little bit to me like natural stone at the back and perhaps um, concrete on the front. Did they cheat us? Oh, here's a mirror, Michelle. Look at this mirror. That works quite well. Who's that guy behind, though? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, nice mirror. Just check your hair before you go out. 
And then that guy over our shoulder looking, yeah, looking in, photobombing us. Yeah. How rude. I'm going to turn the camera so you can sort of see where we're going, but do be aware occasionally I'm going to stop to check the, the map. Google Maps does not really work in South Korea. They have a couple of their own much better apps and I'll do a video on the, um, the app, but there's a, a, a street app called Nava. Can't even see, the sun's a bit bright today, but it's called Nava, N-A-V-E-R. And would you believe it's, it's better than Google in almost every way, except for it's all in Korean. So that's a little tricky. Okay, we've got a little stretch of what I think is very clean, modern, but a little bit boring street. So I'm gonna stop for a second, start up when we get into smaller streets with a little bit more shade. Anyway, we're waiting for this crossing. It's quite a busy one, just on orange. So I think we're gonna get a uh, green man. Here we go. So I just put the clip in the young girls. There's a few young girls here dressed in traditional Korean clothing. I'm not sure what they're, maybe they're just going for photo shoots or maybe they're tourists. The coffee culture here is immense. And there are more coffee shops. And look at the quality of these places. So there are more coffee shops per square mile, square kilometer than I think I've ever seen in a long time. Coffee everywhere, isn't there, Michelle? We did a quick little stop in 7-Eleven just to see, just to get a cold drink. And the amount of coffees in there is amazing. Yeah, there's, the, the amount of 7-Elevens are amazing. There are hundreds of them. But yes, there's a 7-Eleven just next to our hotel. And the variety, I would say a hundred maybe or more different coffees from some from powder coffees to ice coffees to ice coffee ice creams to just the regular you know pour the hot water in and turn it into your own coffee um, they're definitely a, a coffee culture I mean you almost expect it to be much more a tea culture don't you in this part of the world but coffee is definitely more uh, prolific than tea. There's a little bakery here, Anguk Bakery. Look at this place. Wow. Big bags of flour, big sacks, 20 kilo sacks of flour, and freshly baked bread. A little squeeze, I really shouldn't do. Uh, it's not warm. This is their uh, signature loaf, obviously. This, I think, is is this just an underground shopping centre? It's not the subway, is it? I don't think. Uh, oh, yeah, subway, no. Yeah, yeah Anguk, Anguk Subway. So this is the subway. This is a, a station very near us. And there are dozens of entrances to the subway. So almost every corner of every street around here will have its own numbered entrance. That's another nice thing with the Naver app is actually when you go from one station to the next it tells you which exit to aim for for your location so um, very handy now i don't know what mountain range is behind us but it is beautiful look at that that mountain range oh that's nice they put a little umbrella Gives a bit of shade while we're waiting. It is cool, Michelle, literally cool. So we can get a little shade and I'll just pause this while we wait for the lights to change. We've got the green man and everybody dutifully is crossing, but something is going on over here. Let's have a little uh, look. I think it's the street performer actually. Oh yes, an escape artist.
He's certainly got the crowd and he's out. Who'd have thought? Absolutely. I thought he'd be there for years. years. Absolutely. No way he's going to escape. Not stood up on that block like that. It was a bit hot. He needs to get that jacket off. <laughs> it's a warm day today. So this is definitely a city of extremes. You've got these super modern, may I say, ugly buildings um, mixed in with a beautiful old tradition, but they kept a really nice blend of the old traditional buildings. I suppose at some point modernity has to uh, come to every big city. When you look at this, and it's not a big building, it's maybe about uh, 10 or 15 stories high, and we compare it to this little building, which is not the prettiest example of this timber clad building here. I know which I'd prefer. Not a brilliant example. I'm trying to show the extreme contrast, Michelle, of modernity and old Korean. There's an ancient statue there, probably going back to the... Uh, Temple State yeah. Information Centre. <laughs> I was going to say some dynasty, but it would have been Chinese and you'd have all given me a hard time over it. I think we cross over, it's shady on the other side of the street and we've got a green man and I think we have to be this side. So look, we've got a countdown, 20 seconds. 20 seconds, 14, 13, 12. Yeah. They're waiting for us to cross. You can cross here without kind of worrying you're gonna get your legs taken away from you in Vietnam, of course, where we just were. What is beautiful um, around where we're staying anyway, and I imagine it's the same here, is the little alleyways. That's probably not a great example, but uh, the little alleyways that run up the side of buildings have got so much um, charm and so much going on. They're not dead, non-functioning alleyways. They've got restaurants and uh, people making stuff, little artisan um, producers in the alleyways. Now, I do think it's uh, predominantly a Buddhist country, which surprised me. You can check those details for me. I am looking for some nice beads. I saw some in China years ago that were being hand carved by a guy, and I always reg regret not um, buying them because you see them here, the ones Michelle just picked up. You never know if they've just been sort of die cast um, or just mass produced. Now, near the hotel, there's a much more traditional little old town that I'll take you through. We're heading to the business district because I want to get some cash um, down to the last few pennies. So maybe that's reflected in these sort of more modern buildings, but we will be taking you and the smaller streets, probably in the next video, maybe one after this. But it is great to see Oh, look, these bagels look nice. Cream cheese bagels. Another beautiful bakery. Do you remember, Michelle, the mega coffee yeah. in Busan? <laughs> when we were staying in Busan, there was a guy, what were they, how big were they, do you think? A, a litre. A, a litre, litre of, of coffee. coffee. There was a coffee shop, and there were people walking out with these sort of buckets of coffee. Now, I know in the US, maybe that's not that unusual, but where we come from, that's kind of crazy. And, um, yeah, people were coming out with these massive uh, litre bottles and I think even bigger than litre they so, did yeah. that was the starting size yeah. so it's one and a half thousand won but I'm not sure for what <laughs> for a mega sized coffee maybe right I might have to cut this again because we are getting a lot of these sort of slow stops at traffic lights but it's just gone red so green we are let's pop over to mega big two shot coffee have a little look, see what this guy is all about. Mm. No, they look pretty, pretty normal size copies to me. Signage got you over there though. Got me there, yeah, they're clever. Called us in. Wine and spirits, so 19,000. Uh, I'm not sure what the Korean is. You can pause it and do a Google Translate. But they've got a little wine shop going on here. 
So yeah, look at these little alleyways. I'll just take you up so you can see what I mean. Every little alleyway seems as if it might have very little up here and you find these beautiful little cafes. And tonight, because we arrived yesterday late, we were able to see a lot of this. It's absolutely chock-a-block. Everybody is out eating. What is this down here? <laughs> Amazing. Look at the, the, Michelle, what I've discovered. The back of some air conditioners. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'll take you to all the best places. I'm not having a lot of luck today. I keep saying, oh, come down here. This will be interesting. Look down here. And it is interesting. Don't get me wrong. But maybe not as interesting as what's just around our hotel. So I'm going to have to take you for a walk around our streets. What are these called in Japan? I don't know what they're called in Korea. Maybe somebody can comment. These are the sort of food carts on the streets. And at night, this will all sort of unpack and they'll be serving beers and a specialty, whatever their specialty of food is, um, they'll be serving. And there are literally hundreds, perhaps even thousands of them in just this part of Seoul. So it's a pretty little canal, very clean water, just running through the city centre here. You can see people crossing on the little stepping stones. Very pretty. And this road is closed. Hey, this is like downtown, almost any big city, but not in this region. I mean, m most of the downtowns in this region are just crap everywhere. <laughs> the pavements are uneven. Um, now, Korea is super modern, uh, super clean. It's just a, an absolute pleasure, and the weather. I think I've said it already. It's perfect, perfect weather. Okay, so this place you order your coffee, a little bit like a Mackie D's, come in, tap here, uh, for here. But who would drink there when there's a beautiful Starbucks over here? Oh man, hey? You dare, you absolutely dare go into Starbucks if you're in South Korea. You support the local businesses. Not only are you gonna get better quality, more knowledgeable coffee service than you will in Starbucks. Um, you're also just gonna be having a better time. So to give you an idea where we are, look at this building, Seoul City Hall. Interesting. And that's why you can see the other side of these. I've got sort of temporary marquees here in the same shape as City Hall. Now I should add that you can also, while we have no cash and so many places only take cash, you can also use these T-Money cards and I'll talk about those later on. The only problem is we got these T-Money cards when we arrived here in South Korea, but you can only really top these up. At the moment we can seem to only top them up with cash. So you're still in the same position. But a lot of convenience stores, a lot of shops will actually uh, use these almost like a, a standard ATM card. Now you might ask, why have we walked two miles, three kilometers, to come to a bank that we're familiar with, HSBC? Well, mainly because we're not sure at the moment what the ATM fees, we want, well, we wanted a walk, and we're not sure about whether there's gonna be ATM fees. So by using a, a bank that's based in Australia, we hopefully be able to do our business here. But I'm not even sure now looking at it, whether it is actually a bank or just a business building. I'll let you know. I don't know what's wrong with HSBC. Uh, in a few of these countries around Asia, now they have these amazing buildings and no services uh, for the customers, global customers, no ATM machines nothing so waste of a walk well no not a waste of a walk because we've had a good walk michelle haven't we a different area so that's good but it's the business center it's not so pretty not so interesting we're going to head back to uh the proper side of seoul okay i've decided to stop filming in this area it's not really what i want to show you this is really the city sort of business center it's all high rises 
it's interesting, but it's not what I want to see for my first day in uh, Seoul. So I'll either, we'll either end it here. We might end it. I'll see how much video we've got. If not, I'll continue it after this. Yeah, so we're stoked to be in South Korea. I think we're gonna have a great time. We're not sure how long we're here for. And uh, for Michelle and I, we'll see you on the other side. Be good. See you next time. Bye. Okay, turns out this is Sinchon Station. So this wasn't actually the station that we were wanting to be at. We want to be at Iwa Women's University Station. So we've got to walk quite a bit further and through this cool little tunnel. 